Now, guys, uh, we will show in greater detail and length a little bit later in the show the uh, conversation that the Prime Minister had with David Spears, but uh, I wanted to get your early thoughts on uh, what you thought of the interview, Gary. Um, look, I thought the Prime Minister, in, in some ways, was right back into Operation Sovereign Borders mode, where he knew what to say. He also knew that uh, the exercise, and it's no attack on David at all, it's just the nature of an interview like this, is trying to box you into a whole series of things that, if later something else comes out that's slightly different than what was said, then bang, we're off to the races with a whole other controversy. But at its heart, I thought Scott Morrison is saying exactly the right thing. They're an ally, we help allies. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the Prime Minister is in the zone at this uh, point in time, and I hope he stays there, because I really think this next 12 months will define, make or break, if you like, uh, the fortunes of the Morrison government. They've got to get on with the business of governing, they've got to make decisions, they've got to pick the right fights with the states, which I'm glad to see the Prime Minister talking about, you know, get, telling the states to get on with building dams and doing mm. the stuff they should be doing. Uh, he's in the zone, and, and as I said on your show the other week, I hope that it's more than just the warmth of the handshake that passes when he meets Donald Trump, because I really want him to be a little bit like Trumpy, but in a ScoMo kind of way. You know, he's got, he's got to be the real, authentic Scott Morrison, and I think you're starting to see it, and why shouldn't you? I mean, this is exactly what we want him to do. We want him to govern. And who cares what questions are asked by whatever uh, serious journalists like David Spears or anybody else? Uh, Scott Morrison's got to speak from his heart or his head, and if he says those sorts of things, then nothing's going to trip him up. He's just get a, got to get on with the business of governing, Paul. Stephen, uh, much has been said by your, uh, your former colleagues and presumably still friends, uh, who, among other things, uh, your old mate Bill Shorten out there saying that the reason we got the red carpet was clearly because something must have happened on this phone call. Um, does Labor oh, need to Lord. not just simply play the we're not the other guys, so therefore we have to criticise? You're a bloke who can see how this actually works... Do you get any sense of controversy about that phone call? Uh, look, I don't think the phone call is a substantive issue. I think it was the phone call was a follow-up. The question that has to be explained is why Joe Hockey wrote the letter. Why did why did we need to write a letter to say we would cooperate? Well, isn't he presumably reacting to the... I mean, he's, he's, in, he's in country, in the United States. He sees that Australia gets mentioned at a press conference and part of being the ally. Doesn't that mean that you communicate with the White House to say, look, I saw you mentioned Australia, we're fine? Or uh, do you think there's some sort of throwing diplomats under the bus here, Stephen? Oh, no, well, look, I think it's fantastic we're getting to the bottom of this, you know, deep-seated, deep-state, <laughs> left-wing conspiracy and the leader of it in Alexander Downer, Australia's longest-serving Conservative I don't, Foreign Affairs I Minister. I don't share that conspiracy, I think it's fabulous. by the way. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah, he's such a uh, lefty, Downer. I'm, We've I'm always known that. Forward, yeah. I know he is. He's an absolute lefty. <laughs> uh, I am looking forward to Rudy Giuliani <laughs> and William Barr coming to Australia to interview Alexander Downer. I think that's going to be a cracker. I hope they sell seats for it. Amanda, I mean, you, where you can't get away from, Paul, and this is, this is the problem with Trump's conspiracy, is that Alexander Downer correctly reported that a member of Trump's campaign team was colluding with Russians to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. And he's gone to jail for perjury to Mueller. And this bloke was in it up to his neck. Now, you might say nothing to do with Trump. I know we could have a different argument about that. But ultimately, Alexander Downer did exactly the right thing. Yeah, it's this thing, I mean, also, uh, yeah, Amanda, uh, yeah, the, the hyperventilating in the media all to be expected because, again, you know, the perfect ingredients, uh, you know, our Prime Minister, Donald Trump, phone call, well, that must be the same as the Ukraine. And then again, old mate Bill Shorten out there suggesting the reason we got the red carpet treatment was clearly Who? something happened on that phone call. Clearly. Who? <laughs> Yeah, it's all, it's all pretty speculative and um, gossipy and nonsensical. I mean, this is a normal kind of interaction. When one country requests assistance, we, as we would with any ally, give assistance. We've done it in the usual way. There's really nothing very exciting to see here. And just because there's a segment of our community and our press who viscerally hate Trump does not mean um, something nefarious has happened here. Um, it is... Absolutely what we would expect in the normal course of the relationship between allies. And as far as the closeness of the relationship between the Prime Minister and President Trump goes, we should be encouraging that in Australia's interests. There's no evidence to suggest anyone has done anything other than advocate for Australians' interests.
Yeah, I, I would agree completely. But by the way, when you talk about a, a section, uh, even though they were all there taking selfies, I saw it. Even though all of them had their iPhones out, I saw it. Um, it would be many of the people who ended up going on uh, on that trip. Uh, there's one or two examples of some clear-eyed people who I, I got a different view about because they're, they're pretty clear-eyed about China. But a lot of them more than happy just to play their part in the uh, the get Trump, get ScoMo business. But surprise, surprise.